Hi guys, this is uh, Willa Soros again. Uh, on my next uh, review already, on this review, uh, on, Sci on Sci Show uh, Freaks, I had uh, a few of the guys that asked me about uh, some of my stand up video game systems. Uh, the Xbox ones, this would probably be the first one that I would do. Uh, the other uh, PlayStation ones I will probably do later on in uh, another review. Uh, the first thing uh, about this one, I uh, get straight to it. Is when my vision was when I first had gotten it to have it as more like a, an entertainment system, something that I can uh, entertain the guys with, friends and family, and even myself. Uh, as you see, it's uh, cable ready uh, by the uh, Xbox uh, in here. It also plays, you know, of course, DVDs. Uh, it's also a surround sound system. It has the uh, two speakers on both sides. About uh, two in the back and one large one up under uh, the console. It also has a subwoofer and a thousand watt amp in it. So it can kick out some sounds though, really. Actually, I really had to cut the thing almost on mute or real low because uh, it also has vibe control. Uh, this one right here, I basically uh, hooked up uh, along with my uh, uh, curio cases here. Uh, far as like a wireless remote. So, uh, you know, I hit the wireless remote. You know, everything comes on. I'm a big Xbox fan. I also, you know, into PlayStation also on all that. Uh, I think Xbox tend to kind of win more with the uh, uh, the uh, older guys compared to more the uh, high school kids uh, that I've noticed tend to sort of, sort of like more the uh, PlayStation and PlayStation 2 and 3. Uh, but actually, me personally, I, I love both of them. Uh, but I'm more leaning more so uh, as an Xbox and Xbox 360 fan. Uh, when I first had gotten this, uh, some of you, you asked me uh, how it came about it. Uh, uh, with my uh, full-time real job, I also had a part-time job that was seasonal I've done for ages. You know, this is probably like the first time I hadn't worked there in like maybe five years. Uh, but around that time, it was Toys R Us. Uh, for you guys, that's probably overseas that don't know about Toys R Us. It's kind of like a real large, uh, more toy store uh, uh, in the U.S. And so they had things and game systems like this in their, uh, what they consider an R zone, it's like a, a area they set off uh, away from everything else that's basically uh, for gamers and gaming you know, accessories that they sell. Uh, so as everything goes, uh, um, the 360 had came out, uh, the Xbox was sort of going obsolete. Uh, the vendors, uh, they were going to get rid of the system. So I, in turn, uh, bought it from uh, uh, the store director, who actually was a pretty close friend of mine. That's how, actually how I went up there. Uh, me and him, we go back a long way. Uh, I used to work on his car, his cars. Uh, when I was in high school, he was uh, my store manager at a grocery store I worked at during then. Uh, so I was real good with my hands, so he asked me, he said, well, look, uh, you good uh, in building stuff, you know, you know, bikes and all that, et cetera. You know, why don't you come here and be a bike builder? So that's how I originally had, you know, had gotten there. Uh, everything was taken out of it uh, when it was going to throw it out, uh, right before I bought it. Uh, the TV, the game system, the controllers, everything but the internal stuff like the subwoofer and the speakers uh, were left in there. So I had to replace, I had to buy a new TV. I already had an Xbox. Uh, if you go on my site, uh, Satchel Freaks also had the uh, special edition prestige one, which was the uh, Halo edition. It also came with a uh, you know, one controller. Uh, the other controller I picked out was uh, from uh, the Fantastic Four. They had four co different controls of all the characters in it. Uh, the thing is more so more my favorite character out of the whole group, so I sort of went with his controller, uh, his and uh, Johnny Storm. Uh, the Halo and the Halo uh, system itself is like a translucent, uh, clearish type of uh, green, which looks real cool. So that's why like, I tend to win with that one when it came out, more so than going with the uh, regular uh, black version of the first generation Xbox. Uh, it also has a subwoofer, uh, which is behind the uh, display uh, plaque. Uh, this is interchangeable. You can put like different uh, gaming pictures on it. I have a few, but one of my more favorite games was uh, the Star Wars uh, games. Uh, the did was kind of cool, because actually uh, that's what I have playing here. Uh, one of my most favorite scenes in uh, uh, Re Revenge of the uh, Sith is the uh, final battle. 
So I kind of went with that. It also has another one in the back. And okay, it just has an Xbox logo on it. I couldn't remember what I put back there. Uh, other than that, the uh, the game has uh, plastic uh, sides, uh, which is another translucent green. One of the coolest things about the system, also, uh, along with the the funny kind of fluorescent green. Inside the lighting is a uh, fluorescent green, and actually uh, it has like a light bar on here, which also is another you know same thing with fluorescent green. So it's a pretty cool system. Also, a lot of you guys uh, and the guys who uh, who may not uh, be gamers, uh, Xbox also has uh, it's like a really in the sense of computer. So I stored like a lot of music in here, probably like a get over a thousand records in here. And it's good for entertainment. You have friends over, uh, throwing the music. Uh, they crank out some big sounds. Uh, but it's perfect. It's the perfect entertainment tool. Originally, uh, I was a gamer. I had gotten some of the old stand-up games back in the day. And they, you know, they still sort of make them. If you find some arcade rooms that's still around now. Uh, that, but that was my original idea, was to have this as a stand-up arcade game. So I have bought like a lot of old school games that you can get on like uh, PlayStation and Xbox, uh, like Dig Dug, Miss Pac-Man, you, you know what I'm going with, uh, Galaga, Dig Dug. So a lot of those I went and uh, bought for the system. And it's a real cool piece. I bought stools for it. I generally don't have stools in front of it because it takes up more space, so I generally I'll put those in, in the back somewhere. Uh, but it's a, it's a real good game to, uh, to entertain folks with. That was the very reason I've gotten the game. Uh, I also love it because it's also plays a, you know, it's also in a sense an entertainment system. Uh, so it may be some features that I know later on I may think about. So, oh man, I forgot to mention that. Uh, but other than that, the, uh, the game system is cool. It's uh, by far uh, my favorite out of the uh, PlayStation ones I have. I'll probably be doing reviews too on the uh, the uh, other two games I have here. I have one other game which is a uh, Nintendo one. Uh, but it's in storage. Uh, I didn't have enough room for it, as you you know, I roomed out, you know. <laughs> uh, but any other questions you want to know about it, just, you know, you know click it on there. Uh, if you probably interested in probably buying one. Uh, every blue moon, I know a friend or someone that uh, may have had gotten one in the past and maybe they're trying to sell it. The drawback from that, you have to worry about the shipping thing, which is, you know, it's going to cost you. But other than that, any other thing, uh, you want to know, just you know, type it in there, let me know. Uh, get ready to throw out some more videos. I'll probably be doing the other systems like I mentioned before, uh, somewhere later on down the road. Uh, the statues, uh, the tour, I'm getting ready to get into that. That'll probably be uh, one of the next upcoming videos that I have. Uh, you guys should keep on collecting. Have a good day. You hang loose. I'll be talking with you guys later. Stay up.